Elvis's Cleveland home. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is about to get a major facelift. Andrew Horansky goes one on one with the hall's CEO about what this multi million dollar renovation will look like. How do you improve upon an architectural icon? One of the greatest works of the late I.M. Pei, one of the world's greatest architects. Soon, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame will give it a try. You learn after being in a place for 25 years uh, what works really well and what things you need a little bit of an addition to. And that's what we've learned. On Friday, CEO Greg Harris shared renderings of what they hope to achieve by adding 50,000 square feet for live events, archives, and classrooms. We need better interior performance space um, for live shows and for events and programs. And, um, and we can do better on the lakefront. While connecting to the museum next door, which has an attached public parking garage, something the Rock Hall was built without. Which means on a day like this, you can leave your coat in the car, walk through, and go in. And we recently acquired the land between the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the Great Lakes Science Center from the city of Cleveland. And that's where we're going to build to have a great lakefront museum campus uh, that encompasses uh, these places. Uh, would be really terrific. Construction will launch in early 2022, so no work during the NFL draft next year. Ultimately expanding the museum's footprint in a triangular shape that expands IMPay's vision. We're going to treat the existing building with a great deal of respect. At a price tag of $100 million. Hard to believe, but the Rock Hall is now 25 years old, and it has certainly been a difficult year with the museum closing recently due to COVID. The plan is to reopen early next year, but as you can see, they are keeping spirits bright with a tree on the plaza, and fans are encouraged to share their messages of hope and inspiration with the Rock Hall, which in turn will pass them along on their own social media pages. In Cleveland, I'm Andrew Horansky, 3 News.